Hi, and welcome to a video on how to solve ratio problems using tape diagrams. Be sure you watch this a couple of times, write down any questions, and bring them to class. We'll take a look at them then and make sure you have a chance to practice. Here we go. Let's take a look at a problem where we can use a tape diagram to solve the find the answer. Shawnee and Mel are using ribbon to decorate a project in their art class. The ratio of the length of Shawnee's ribbon to the length of Mel's ribbon is 7 to 3. That's the ratio we'll be using. Notice this problem doesn't say anything about units. We don't know if we're measuring in inches or centimeters, yards, feet, or even miles. The ratio is just 7 to 3. Now they want us to use a tape diagram to represent this ratio, and we'll see why in a minute. But first, let's start by doing a table so we can see how the two connect. In our table, we need to make sure we label our columns so we know what's going on. In this column, I'm going to do the length of Shawnee's ribbon. So we'll label it. Shawnee's ribbon. In this column, I'm going to write the length of Mel's ribbon. So I'm going to label it Mel's ribbon. The ratio we're given tells us that Shawnee's ribbon is 7 units long for every 3 units of Mel's ribbon whatever those units happen to be. Now like we did before, we can expand this table. If we add another 7 units to Shawnee's ribbon, 7 plus 7 is 14, we can add another 3 units, or we have to add another 3 units, to Mel's ribbon. So 3 plus 3 is 6. To make another entry, if we add 3 units to Mel's ribbon, 6 plus 3 is 9, and then we have to add another 7 units to Shawnee's ribbon. 14 plus 7 is 21. So now we have a table. We can also use a tape diagram to represent this information. In the original ratio, it tells us the length of Shawnee's ribbon to the length of Mel's ribbon is 7 to 3. We need to make sure we label when we do a tape diagram too. So the first one, we're going to have Shawnee's ribbon. How many units is Shawnee's ribbon? If we look, it's 7 to 3, Shawnee to Mel. So Shawnee's ribbon is 7 units. So I'm going to make 7 equal boxes, approximately. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oop, I made eight. Too many. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven boxes. Now I need to draw the boxes for Mel. So here's Mel's ribbon. How many units is Mel's ribbon? If we look at our ratio, it's seven to three, Shawnee to Mel. So Mel's is three units. We can look and see that Shawnee's ribbon is seven-thirds the length of Mel's ribbon. If we take the length of Mel's ribbon and multiply it by seven-thirds, that's two and one-third, we will get the length of Shawnee's ribbon. And you can see that if we look at groups of three, there's one group of three, and a second group of three, and one out of three groups of three. So that's two and one-third. So now that we have a tape diagram, 
we can use this to determine our actual units. If each one of these boxes represents one inch, how many inches is Shawnee's ribbon? Seven boxes. Each box is one inch, so we could say it was seven inches. And Mel's ribbon, if each one is one inch, would be three inches. Our ratio is still seven to three. What if we do this again? And instead of each box being one inch, each box is representing two meters. There's still seven boxes and three boxes, but if each one represents two meters, How many total meters do we have for Shawnee's ribbon? Two plus two plus two plus two plus two plus two plus two. Seven boxes. Seven times two is going to be 14 meters. What about for Mel's ribbon? We have three boxes. Each one is two meters, so that's three times two gives us six meters. Our ratio here is 14 to six. We could do this again. Instead of two meters, what if each box represents three inches? Then we would have seven times three, which is 21 inches, and three times three, which is nine inches. Our ratio then would be 21 to nine. Take a look at these three ratios we have. 7 to 3, 14 to 6, and 21 to 9. These are the same three ratios we came up with in our table over here. What do all three of these ratios have in common? Mathematicians call these ratios equivalent ratios. They all come back down to the same base ratio. We started with 7 to 3, and we multiplied each number by the same value to get a different set of values. Well, there you go. That's how to set up a problem with tape diagrams. When we do a word problem, having the information shown visually helps a lot. You can see that the table and the tape diagram represented the information in two different ways, but we got very similar answers. Watch the video again, and as you go through, write down any questions you may have. Make sure you stop and rewind where you need to hear stuff again. Bring your questions to class tomorrow. If you need to, you can even follow along with the problem on a piece of scratch paper. Have a great night, and I'll see you tomorrow.